we got plenty of time. Oh my goodness, hold on. Hold on, hold on. It's a magnet on a stick. Go ahead and grab these and just start crashing as much as we can. Let's grab you. Come with me. Ah, beautiful, yes. I levitate all of you. That guy's made of magic. I know, bro. Science! Ah, another day, another day of crashing. Getting the gold. Getting some sweet, sweet loot. What's going on, YouTube? My name is Diesel, and today we're back in Hydranir, my friends, my friends. We're just getting straight cash, homie. Boom. Straight cash, homie. We got crashing. Beautiful. And we now have automatic smelters. They're ready to rock and rolls. We got counters. We know exactly how many are going in, give or take, roughly. It's a guesstimate for the most part. Let's not get crazy. But everything's going kind of smooth. Ah, <sighs> we did a live stream yesterday, trying to, try to figure out all the different cables and the cords. And I've already re, I've already redone the entire setup to have the wiring go on top here because we have repair units going in the back of all four of these automatic smelters. I got a magnet over here. Looks like it's doing. Ugh, these conveyors, bro. You're killing me, Smalls. There we go. I just wanted that magnet to kind of drag it a little bit more to the center. And it looks like it's doing the trick. Beautiful. And then we got to curl around over here into a beautiful pit of lovely. Mmm. Mmm. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. So, let's show you the setup here. Everything's all nice and, and lit up here. It's nice. We got this wire. It's connected and popping off. It goes underneath our entire setup over here. I'm trapped. I can't get up. I can't get out. It goes underneath our entire setup to our auto smelters. To where we now have everything cabled in. So we have a cable that goes up to the right and then to the left. And I have two spaces, one space, two space, full rooms with cables. I know that we can, you can glitch them in. I know you can glitch them in, but you know, it's just, it doesn't look right and it causes frame FPS problems and all sorts of issues. But this is an automatic repair, John. We just auto repair. Everything is ready to rock and rolls, lock and loads. This one tests to see the durability. Looks like we got 88. We have this little curly piece. We then have this jam right here, which is, oh, I have it, I have it, I have it nailed down, so I can't really pick it up. This changes zero to a one. So once this goes to zero, full 100% zero, it triggers this, sends a direct signal into here, and boom, ready to lock and load. Right, right now we got 21 durability on this. Once this hits zero, it signal hits this. Ah, see, the flip logic cable. Turns an incoming logic of zero into one, and anything bigger or equal to one to zero. And that's math. Once I hit zero, it's gonna hit that, turn it to one, it's gonna hit that and repair it. I don't have to hit it with anything. Now you do have to fill those up with spanners, wrenches, if you will. Otherwise it's a problem. See, this will all still work. This will all still work. Everything should work. Now, we do have one lever that smelts everything all at the same time, but we also have this lever to shut off our little valve here. I was actually having a couple people try to help me out with this. I was hooking this whole thing up to one lever, but it wasn't turning that on, but it was always turning that on. And it doesn't, you know, flip it back. So say if you go to smelt this and this conveyor belt still rocking gold, It'll drop the gold through, <laughs> right on top of the machine. It'll miss it. And then you have all those objects underneath this machine. And it's a real problem, bro. But we do have a counter now, too, over top of our gold and our iron. We got to do something a little bit more with it. But every single time a little nougat pops on through, gives us a little counter, gives us an idea of how many nougats are going to go in that one sweet and sexy bar. I've been kind of rocking out about 1,000, anywhere between 500 to 1,000, depending on the mood, if you know what I'm saying. It's pretty nice. So... 
once we need to say, say we're going to smelt. Let's go ahead and smelt, guys. So let's go ahead and we'll hit this lever. I should turn everything off. And then we hit this lever. Smelt, my pretties. Right on all four of them flipped up in a row. Oh, hold on. This counter. We've got this little calculator. Just goes into the top. And then we hit zero. Send that to zero. And that resets all this. I have to figure out how... I don't know. Like, whenever I hit this signal, it sends a zero to this. So once I hit that lever, it resets this to zero. I got to figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We're a smart class. I don't know. I don't know. But then... After those are pulled up, we hit this lever to pull the auto smelters up and ready to catch more gold and nougats and things of that nature. We turn on. Ah. And we're back again. And then we get to watch this, this log jam of nonsense. Looking pretty good, though. This one, these always get stuck. Cloudium. So it's not without its issues. I think what I need to do is just make this conveyor belt system a little bit wider so that that way we can have uh, give it a little extra room, if you will. So we have another conveyor belt over here and then a middle one and then another conveyor belt to bring it over here. I think it would be kind of nice. I'm not for certain, though. I like this whole curl around. I like that. So let's see what this bar looks like. Oh, let's see that one here. Bang. Nice. Now this one we just made though. Oh. 7,000. Looking good. Looking real good. Looking real, real nice. So we have the basic setup locked and loaded and ready to kick it. The problem now is we need to get some sort of sorting system. I know we have the sorting system for all the nougats, but now with all these bars are just made and we have an automated system set up for this, kind of need another sorter. For all the bars. We have enough power to last us for the rest of our lives. <laughs> the rest of our lives. Ah. It feels good. It feels good to own land. Uh, we got 75 over here. 77, 125. Now, the next project that we're going to have to rock and roll is making this kind of like a maintenance area. So I want to have a little area to the right here. Dig it out. I can't get out. I'm trapped. I'm trapped. Oh my god. I'm trapped in this, this dirt box of emotions. Um, we're gonna have to mine this whole thing out and make this a section just to have us fill like a room of spanners, you know, because we got to reload them, lock and load, but this way it's easily accessible. So that way when this runs out, I can just drop another line in there. Oh, look, this fell off. Oh, good. That's good to know. And of course you, you're going to have, you're going to have some things drop on the floor. So we're going to need a new magnet. Oh god, now I'm definitely trapped. I'm trapped. Oh my god. Hey, hey, hey. See, that one's got four grand. All right. I like it. So usually about five. Give yourself about five minutes. And then you'll get these bars up to a thousand. There is an automated system that you can make that the second this this clicks like a hundred, it automatically shuts everything off and then turns that back on. But I've seen the way that that's set up. And it looks, it looks awful. It doesn't look fun. I want nothing to do with it. That's my choice. It's my choice. Um, let's see here. No gems, no gems. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Stop. Fantastic. So yeah, man. We're pretty much all set up. One lever to rule them all. There are issues so far, I have noticed. A bunch of issues. Like, hey, look, there's a gold nugget. Well, I don't know how this got all the way over here. But you know what? Let's put it back over here. We're just going to drop it on this, on this conveyor belt. Okay, so that's that one. Now let's find, say, these guys. I'm like, what are those doing over here? Well, oh, now it's gonna call me a liar. Okay, it's like I got a nougat all the way over here, a little shiny shard. Because sometimes, after you're playing this game for a little bit, the game will wig out, and certain things. Will then just start floating and no lie. We saw it on stream where it was literally, I would drop it and it just floats. And it keeps on going. 
Someone put it in the comments that perpetual motion does not work inside of Hydro Near just yet, Diesel. I'm sorry, but you definitely need to reconnect everything back up. Well, apparently perpetual motion does work when we're talking about some bugs. Oh, I didn't know this was all the way over here. Hey, nice. Could use these. These are like gold. Very good, very good. And do we have any dirt piles that are stuck? Just a few. Just a few. Booyakasha. Also, thank you for all the lovely comments in the comment section down below. You definitely need to have your, this uh, reactor. Oh, we're getting a little, getting a little, getting a little tight in there. I have to get it stuffed. So this has its own water source. So for, in order for me to turn this whole thing on, I just flip this and then flip this lever and then boom, everything's powered, ready to rock and rolls, my friends. But it looks like we're gonna need some more juice. Juice is loose. All right, here, hood. Bang like shack. Beautiful, man. All right, more power, more power. Ha, 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 ha. And usually when I turn the power off like that, then there's some, some things that get a little, a little wonky. A little wonky. Beautiful. So, we got to even this out. This is all going to get dug out. This is going to be a big little uh, manufacturing area. Then over here, once we get some things locked and loaded, I'm going to have uh, some certain conveyor belts move to certain areas and have certain pits. Like over here, we'll have our golden iron pit. And then over here, we'll have uh, our pit. Oh, technically, we already have a pit right here. Hey! <laughs> We blew some things up and we already made a pit. See, you're thinking locally while I'm thinking globally. Let's grab the old timer there. Let's grab this power cycle here. Boom. Feeling all right about it. So that this way we'll have our power bars over here. <laughs> nice power bars. It's uh, not a sponsor, hashtag not a sponsor. But a conveyor belt system that we can actually just move maybe three conveyors and maybe just two. Two for one that goes from the gold and iron into here and one that goes from the power and dumps it into here. And then we'll start building the factory and start and stop making all of this, all these awful looking dirt holes which you get stuck in and you just get trapped. I got a magnet here just in case. You never know, you never know. You never know. What do we have, 421? Giggity. Uh, all right, everything looks like it's not breaking on us. It seems like everything is, is working? Excuse me? We got plenty of time. Oh my goodness, hold on. Hold on, hold on. It's a magnet on a stick. Go ahead and grab these and just start crashing as much as we can. Let's grab you. Get these stragglers over here. Ah, beautiful, yes. I levitate all of you. That guy's made of magic. I know, bro. Science. So everything is looking right as rain. 500, 500. I'll tell you what, we'll stop. We'll do it for the video. Okay, we turn that off. Then we hit this lever. Everything rolls out. A reset. Back it goes, and it's ready to take on another load giggity. Fantastic. Now do the bars. It's always that the Cloudian bar never wants to go. If only I could put like a try. Oh, the magnets are too strong. The force is too strong with this one. Booyakasha. So I think maybe just another another conveyor maybe move this back a little bit i don't know this one's uh, magnets in this game are wonky they always have been they oh always will be eh, eh, eh. But so far everything's looking pretty good let me know what you think in the comment section down below and if you have any uh questions hints tips tricks by all means let me know hop in the discord i appreciate it but that, my friends, is going to be the video for the day. Oh, this took me a long time to try and get everything rock and rolling. The, the, the amount of trips back and forth, to and fro, 
just to get this loaded up the way that we want it, the way that we need it, and the way that we need to have it is pretty intense. What we're going to do next, though, is going to be kind of nice. Just kind of roll this stuff out, and then we're going to get some actual wiring that has some RGB lights. And that's right, we got RGB lighting now in this game. What? It's crazy talk. It's crazy talk. It's pure crazy talk. Pure craziness. You're crazy, dude. You're crazy. But folks, if you enjoyed this video, by all means, hit that like button. Help out my channel ever so much more than you know. And if you like it a whole lot, go ahead, hit subscribe. New videos coming out every single day, every single week. Folks, have a great day, afternoon, evening. Good night. Peace out, I shout y'all. And I will check you out right here again in Hydranir next time.